Hi everyone, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to be discussing the do's and don'ts of drag. Basically, what is drag? So I originally wanted to do this video when I believe Tatiana Melanina did it, and then I think all of Queens of the Week did it as well. So I believe that this will be pretty interesting because this is a different perspective. This is coming from a teenage drag queen. I am 16 years old, and I just think it'll be a different perspective because it is from a person who has never gone out and performed all of that sort of thing. So obviously the first thing is you can do whatever you want. I mean, drag has no limits. You can do whatever it is that you want. Don't wear pads if you don't want to. You don't even have to wear wigs, girl. Like honestly, if it's what you want to do, you don't have to do it. The one thing that you have to keep in mind though is, I mean, me being a teenage drag queen, I can do whatever I want. I'm not going out performing, so I don't have to worry about anyone accepting my drag to do what I want to do. You know, I can post my videos, I can post my videos in whatever look I want to be in. I don't have to wear pads, I don't have to wear a wig. You know what I mean? However, if you're out there trying to get a job, you have to keep in mind that some people won't like what you're doing and if you don't want to wear wigs you don't have to wear wigs but someone doesn't have to hire you if they don't think that you look good you know so i think that's one thing to keep in mind you can do whatever you want but at the end of the day someone's trying to hire you and if your look is busted it can be busted but that doesn't mean that they have to like it you know what I mean? So now let's get into my more personal tastes. So personally for me, I think it really depends in terms of body. Let's start with body. Um, in terms of body, it really depends on the person. For me personally, right now I don't have pads. I really wanna get pads, but let's say for example, like Max. Max doesn't pad, but she corsets. Or even Violet Tchotchke. They don't pad, but they corset really well. I feel like you, ha you really should have some sort of shape in your body you don't have to have hips, you don't have to do that padding, but you might want to corset, or you might want to pad and corset, you might want to just pad and not corset. It depends on everyone's body type. Some people's male bodies are really feminine. Some people have a big butt. Some people look like they're padded when they're not actually. Some people have a tighter waist to begin with, have more shape. You know, it really just depends, but I do definitely think you should have a more hourglass shape no matter what. You should have bigger boobs and bigger hips. That your hips should not be bigger than your boobs or your hips. That's what I'm gonna say, in my personal opinion. In terms of wigs, I don't really care about the wig. If it, I don't have, it doesn't have to be super duper huge. I'm wearing a ponytail right now, but it doesn't have to be super duper huge. It doesn't have to be a lace front. It doesn't have to be any of those things. But I think the main thing is, is just, you know, personal taste. Does it look good? Personally for me, if I'm not wearing a lace front wig, it needs to have some sort of bang. I want that area covered. <laughs> um, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter to me, in my opinion. However, definitely lace fronts will make you a look. Just your look will be a lot more refined when you have a lace front wig. In terms of clothing, I don't really have an issue with more off the rack things. Um, like if you got that dress from Target, but I don't think that we should be wearing Walmart couture, you know, white t-shirt and some jeans, you know, we want it to look at least drag. Just make sure that it sort of goes with the thing you're doing. I mean, right now I'm sitting down, so I'm wearing a t-shirt, I'm wearing my Maxi Rainbow t-shirt, if you want to buy it, links in the description, but you know, I would go out and perform in this, I don't really care, but I think it go it, it's a, more of a matter of, in my personal opinion, drag is performance. You know, I don't really care about your look, because if your performance is so good, I don't really care about how you look. In terms of performing, um, you don't have to dance. Um, it really depends on the person. Again, like everyone, certain people can rock certain things. If you have more beat face, you might be able to do a little bit more posy turn. But I see sometimes ugly people, a lot of teen queens. I'm not saying all teen queens are ugly. But a lot of teen queens are like, my lip singing style is more posing. But then you look at their face and it's like, Ugh. you know, posing, I feel, is more for, you know, maybe a Miss Fame, um, Raven, Raja. Those types of people, people have super beat face and they can just pose because their look is so strong. You might not be able to dance, but you can pose. However, if your look isn't as strong, you might want to learn how to dance or at least have energy. I can't dance, but I can move and I can... I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I can move and I can sort of pull it off, you know? And lastly, I guess I'll just say my don'ts of drag. I just say, don't have a stank attitude and think you're better than everyone else. Um, 
I don't really have a problem with anything to do with look, you know, your, your style is your style, it may not be my taste, but I don't really care. Um, just, the thing is, don't come for people if your style or your drag isn't up to par, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, a person who just slaps on one color of eyeshadow and a lipstick, that's your, if you want to do that, that's fine, but it's at the same time, when you critique, I don't really know. This is sort of weird for me because I do kind of feel like everyone's drag is okay. Like, I don't really care. I can accept everyone's type of drag. What pisses me off, this, I just thought of this. What pisses me off is when queens who aren't the most polished are, they say stuff like, well, this is like my style. Like, my style is like messy, like sort of grungy. You know, that's my style. Like, I want to look a mess. But you know that that's like not true. They're just obviously covering it up because they don't know how to really do real makeup. I just think, look at yourself, if you have style, look at yourself, do I look good? Is this what I want to portray? If I want to portray a mess, go all out. That's what I'm saying, go all out. If you're gonna portray a mess, have messy hair, have a messy outfit, like ripped up, look homeless, basically. Don't have a busted face, but be, then try to put on a nice lace front and a nice cute outfit and say, I'm a mess, or that's what I'm going for, I'm a mess. You know what I mean? Don't just call yourself a mess when someone calls you out on the fact that you don't look good. Get what I'm saying? I don't really know. I don't really know what to say on this topic. Um, I hope I kind of explain myself well. I don't really know. Sometimes I record my videos and I feel like super stupid when I'm recording them, but then I go and edit them and I sound good. So, you know, hopefully that's one of those cases. But yeah, anyways, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I will definitely answer them as well as video ideas. Leave them down in the comments section below because I'm having trouble thinking of stuff to do other than like reviews and I don't really want to just do reviews. So any talk Topics, tell me down in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that. Anyways, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Maxi Rainbow. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful week. Goodbye.